What if I told you the difference between all the disorders of sexual development? Come with me. All right, we're going to do this in two parts. Let's start by understanding this flowchart. So the SRY gene is present on the Y chromosome. So if you have a 46XY karyotype, then you have the SRY gene. It codes for the testis determining factor. So the testis determining factor makes the primitive gonad differentiate into testis by increasing the medullary proliferation. Now testis has Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. Leydig cells are responsible for the production of testosterone, which leads to the differentiation of the Wolfian ducts into the male internal genitalia, the vast difference, etc. Now, testosterone is converted by 5-alpha reductase into dihydrotestosterone, which helps in the development of the male external genitalia, which is the penis. Now, the Sertoli cells have a specific function. They produce anti-malarian hormone. Anti-malarian hormone basically prevents the malarian ducts from forming uterus and the upper half of the vagina. So there is no development of female genitalia. Testosterone along with adrenal androgens help in the secondary sexual characteristic development in males. Now, if you're female, you do not have the SRY gene. So your primitive gonad will not differentiate into a testis. Instead, the cortex is going to proliferate and form ovaries. Ovaries release estrogen. Estrogen provides a female phenotype and also provides the secondary sexual characteristics in females. Now, since there is no AMH, there are no Sertoli cells and there is no AMH, so the Mullerian duct will develop into the female internal genitalia. Here, the Mullerian duct is being inhibited, but here it's not. And since there are no Leydig cells, there is no testosterone and there is regression of Wolfian ducts, so the male internal genitalia are not developed. So in total, this person develops a female phenotype. Another thing to add to this is that GnRH helps the production of FSH and LH and these help in production of estrogen and testosterone. So now let us look at all the diseases that can be associated with this entire pathway, which will be explained in detail in the next video. And I'm a really nice person, so I'm going to upload the next video simultaneously. You can screenshot this for reference.